Well, before I explain what capitalism is all about, let me request you to subscribe to this channel and feel free to make any request regarding the topic or topics you want me to speak about. So feel free to comment or inbox me on this channel. Now, what is capitalism? Well, it is an economic system based on the private ownership of the means of production and their operation for profit. Char characteristics central to capitalism include, for instance, private property, capital accumulation, wage labor, voluntary exchange, a price system and competitive markets. In a capitalist market, economy, decision making and investments are determined by every owner of wealth, property or production ability in financial and capital markets. Whereas prices and the distribution of goods and services are mainly determined by competition in goods and services markets. Economists, political economists, social sociologists and historians have adopted different perspectives in their analysis of capitalism and have recognized various forms of it in practice. These include, uh, you know, free market capitalism, welfare capitalism and state capitalism. Different forms of capitalism feature varying degrees of free markets. Public ownership, obstacles to free competition and state sanctioned social, uh, you know, policies. The degree of uh, competition in markets, the role of intervention and regulation and the scope of state ownership vary across different models of capitalism. The extent to which different markets are free as well as the rules defining private property are matters of politics and policy. Most existing capitalist economies are mixed economies which combine elements um, of free markets with uh, state intervention and in some cases economic planning. Market economies have existed uh, under many forms of government and in many different times, places and cultures. Modern capitalist societies marked by a universalization of money-based social relations, a consistently large and system-wide class of workers who must work for wages and a capitalist class which owns the means of production developed in Western Europe in a process that led to the Industrial Revolution. Capitalist systems with varying degrees of direct government intervention have since become dominant in the Western world and continue to spread over time, you know, capitalist countries have experienced consistent economic growth and an increase in the standard of living. While critics of capitalism argue that it establishes power in the hands of minority capitalist class that exists through the exp uh, exploitation of the majority working class and their labor. It prioritizes profit over social good natural resources and the environment and it is an engine of inequality corruption and economic instabilities while supporters of capitalism argue that it provides better products and innovation through competition uh, you know disperses uh, wealth to all productive people promotes pluralism uh, and decentralization of power creates strong economic growth and yields productivity and prosperity that uh, you know greatly benefits the 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 society